I'm in production control here. When you're setting up production control, you're going to use routes, and one of these is route groups. So I can access under the setup uh, routes, I can access route groups, but I can also do it when I'm looking at a route. So I'm going to go to a product here. So this is my product, and I've configured a route on it. And so in this particular case, it's a simple route. And so we've assigned the route group um, to this particular operation. So let's have a look if we're going to drill in and let's have a look at the effect of the estimation and costing uh, parameters. So we can do estimation costing at setup, runtime and quantity. So if I have a look at my route you'll see that I've got setup time, I've got my runtime and then I've got a quantity for the runtime. So let's go and do a bomb calculation on this. I'm going to go back to my lines and I'm going to do a calculation. So I'm going to do, this one's running FIFO, so I'm going to do it based on plan costs and we'll run and I'm going to have a look at the cost breakdown here. So you'll see, for example, in this case, um, I picked on the active cost, so I want to do the plan cost, or the pending cost. So I'm going to go into my breakdown here. And so you'll see in this case that we've got um, setup. So there's a setup time here, there's a run time, hours, and then there's a quantity time. So based on that setting in the route group is going to determine um, what we have calculated. So let's go back and change that. So we'll go into the route group and in this particular case we'll say that we don't want setup time. We'll have runtime and quantity. So I'm going to close that to save it. Let's go back to our bomb calculation and then we'll do a calculate again based on plan and we'll say OK. So I'm going to pick on our pending prices and so if we have a look at the breakdown here you'll see that we only have runtime and our quantity time in this uh, quantity uh, costs in this particular case so that's the effect of the um, route group now it's worth pointing out uh, the errors that will happen. So let's say for example um, I'll turn on or I've got quantity turned on for example but on my route um, if we have a look I've got cost categories for setup, runtime and quantity. I'm going to take out my quantity uh, category for example. So I'm going to save that and now let's try to do a calculation. So I'll go to my mob and do a calculation, we'll do our planned and we'll say OK. So now we'll get an error um, because we've set on the route group that we want to calculate um, quantity costs for that particular uh, route group but on the particular route operation I didn't include a cost category so we're going to get an error here. So that's something to consider um, the setup of your route group compared to the route operation steps. So um, that'll happen on all of the different categories. Now I can put it there for example and put a cost category uh, in there but on my route group as we saw um, if I don't want to calculate quantity then it will just be ignored for example. So I'm going to change it not calculate quantity and so let's go back to our and well and our route operation has uh, a cost category for quantity but let's go and calculate our bomb line so in this case it will run fine because we didn't say in our route group that we wanted to calculate um, the quantity. So if I go to my plan costs and have a look at the breakdown you'll see that we have the runtime hours but of course we don't have set up a quantity because we said on our route group that we didn't want to include those. So that's a quick look at the effect of the 
cost and estimation parameters on the route group. I can see them obviously on the route, um, but if I go into production control, set up routes, then I've got my route groups. And so these are the parameters here that'll affect what will happen in when you're doing a cost price or you're doing a production order cost estimation in terms of what's actually included 